Okay, so I've just been to see my mother, as I do every Tuesday, and I thought, well, the guys are only working local, just up the road. Um, we'll come up and have a look, see what they're doing. I'll take a couple little bits of video. Uh, I've forgotten to bring the drone. I'll ask the client if I can fly the drone later on if I come back. Um, but we're just going to nip up and see what they're doing briefly. I'll do a couple of little clips of what we're doing. And then i got to go home and I, I, I need to plant some grass seed. You're in the way! Just so you volunteered this. Ow! Free haircut. I did not say it's free. Well, no, but I think I got what I paid for. Done. Too late, you're busted. I hope you're not flattening too many flowers. Trust issue, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Gave the Viburnum a bit of a scare, but I think they're right. Doggy banks. <laughs> That's what we call Mr. Pierce. That's what we call him, or Dodgy Bounce over there. Not exactly ideal weather for sowing grass in, but needs must. Um, that's what we're going to put down on the lawn. So yes, it's horse and pony paddock grassy fixture, not lawn mix, but there's a reason why, but I'll tell you later, because I've got to rake that lot first, chuck this on, roll it, and I want to do it before it gets wet. So if you'll excuse me. I reckon I might have got away with this by the skin of my teeth. Um, that bit of snow just made the ground tacky enough. It's just starting to stick to the roller. And even now I don't. I don't turn the wheel too sharp because it's picking up. So I think this would be a case of 
I probably won't do any more after this roll. I'll just leave it at this. Um, and then we'll top dress with um, sand. Sand and soil, which should fill in any sort of tractor rut marks. That's, uh, that's the idea anyway, so. Hopefully, I've blocked up. There was three holes in the wire that uh, rabbits have been coming in, and the little devils, um, from what I raked out yesterday, although the dogs obviously kicked some of them out playing, rabbits probably dug oh, a good dozen holes in it last night. So, fingers crossed, we can keep them out. So, it's, obviously, it's very brave rabbits coming in here with the dogs in here, but. Um, or just very stupid. So anyway, one more pass over this I think, and I think we'll call it a day. I'm not going to get too twitchy about it. I mean, ours isn't a prize lawn. Um, it's not like we enter in through Garden of the Year for the town. But if I can get it kind of level that I can mow it and flat enough, That'll, that'll do. It's steep just there, but put the diffs in just to. I think that's about as daring as I get there. Any more, I'll be chewing stuff up. Okay, right, that'll do. Well, borrow a few tractor marks, which can't really help too much. That's not gone too badly. Um, actually it's gone down quite firm. I'm even wondering whether to bother putting a fence around it to keep the dogs off. I don't think they're going to dig it up. I may regret that, but hmm, a few little bits just want pressing down my feet, but on the whole that didn't go too bad. For a DIY bodge farmer job. So like I say, in the barn we've got a load of um, top dressing sand and I reckon once this has got away I can use that to fill any any sort of tractor marks, dust over the top and they will disappear. They're going to disappear anyway but I can help them out. Right, okay. Right, next job. Right, well, it's the end of the day, and we're finishing up today with doing a neighbour a bit of a favour. Um, it was noted that I had my roller on, and the question was asked, will I please come and roll this piece of ground, which has been churned up a bit recently, which I will, but I think it's probably, if anything, a tad too dry. Not sure how much good we're going to do, but there you go. Better than nothing, I suppose. Old spring is still there, then. Rains are no point going fast. Even though the grain's hard, it's definitely making a difference. It was definitely worth doing. So 
So up until about 10 years ago, <coughs> I farmed this land. My Dexters used to overwinter out here, actually. Um, the family had rented it for 60 odd years. We were sort of sitting tenants. But um, the ground came up for sale about 10 years ago. And it was offered us. It was a case of, yeah, it would be nice. And I got a lot of very, very fond childhood memories up here. But as far as the farm was concerned, there's lots of covenants and restrictions on this piece of ground of what you can and can't do. And it was kind of decided that, as much as I would like to keep it, it was only for really sentimental reasons uh, rather than anything else. So the amount of money that needed spending on it for fencing and everything else too, it was kind of outside the scope of my, my budget anyway. So, so yeah, so we gave this up about 10 years ago. And this is the first time I've driven a tractor out here since. So, just sparking a few old memories. Blue sky, not blue sky, the sun just disappeared. I think we're getting a bit of wintry weather. I finished that just in time, I reckon. That went dark quick. With a bit of moisture on my grass seed, will be quite welcome actually. I don't mind that at all. I think I'd better take a roller off, actually. Don't think I want to get stuck in the barn with a roller on. Well, I think I'll take the roller off in the barn. Although, I actually think that bit of rubber is 17 years old, so that doesn't too bad. I was always inclined to make history, but I never really had the time. Spent my life living dangerously Never worried how I'm getting by I'm out here working Trying to do what I can I'm out here sweating Dripping blood from my hands Doing what I'm good at Just doing what I'm made for
trouble comes for me, it was always gonna find me out. I'm gonna keep on walking, taking what I need. Ain't nothing gonna touch me now. I'm out here working, trying to do what I can. I'm out here sweating, dripping blood from my hands. Oh, I'm doing what I'm good at. Just do Yeah, you bet I'm gonna 